Hello, in this video, we will extract Twitter data from the API in Python. First, let's create a folder uh, in, for this demo project uh, and uh, we can uh, name it Twitter Kafka Demo. Then, let's create a Python file. Uh, we name it Twitter Data API Reading. We need to import the Twitter Python library. Uh, first, as the first thing uh, in our Python code. If you didn't uh, uh, before install the Twippy uh, API uh, Python package, we need to install it with pip install Twippy. Okay. We need also to import uh, the JSON library for the data structure. I will show you how to store your Twitter API credential uh, securely by creating uh, a secret, secret file uh, with, with type text, text file. This is because uh, uh, it's important as it keeps your sensitive, sensitive information separate from your code and uh, make it harder for others to access it. First, create a new text file in the directory where your code is stored. Name it secret.txt and add the following lines. Replace your, the empty quotes with your own IPA credentials, your consumer key and consumer secrets, access token and uh, others credentials. Now, in our Python code, we will add the following lines to at the top of the code to read the key and secrets from the secrets text file. We create an off handler object with our Twitter, Twitter API keys and access tokens. Of equal, equal Twippy dot off handler. Uh, as parameter, we have consumer key and consumer secrets. We also set the auth set access token, set access token. It have as uh, parameters access token and access token secret. We then uh, create an API object using uh, our off handler object. API equal to EP dot API off. We use the cursor object from Twippy to search for tweets that contain uh, the word or a topic in English. For that, we define it Twippy dot cursor API search tweets and the query is uh, equal to music. We choose the topic of music for this demo and uh, we specify the language equal to in English and the uh, tweet mode extended. We can specify also the number of items that we we want to extract from the API. It represents the number of tweets. We choose, uh, for example, 50, 50 tweets. We then loop for uh, true of each tweet in the cursor object and extract the hashtags from each tweet for tweet in cursor and uh, we create hashtags equal tweet dot entities hashtags. We can create a, an empty list called 
hash text and loop through its hashtag in the tweet. Then we append the text for each hashtag to the hash text list. Hash text for G in range 0 to the length of hashtags list. Hash checks uh, dot append hashtags. Uh, that's it. We create a dictionary uh, called. Uh, we can we will create a dictionary that uh, contains various pieces of information about the tweet that we want to store in the database. We'll name it. Uh, Core data, and here is the data structure of this dictionary. Finally, we print the core data dictionary for each tweet. We use it the ISO format uh, method to convert the tweet created at that time object to an ISO formatted string. By using uh, ISO format, we were able to convert the tweet created at date time object to a string that can be JSON serialized. Now, let's run this code. As you see, congratulations, we extracted tweet's data from the API using Python successfully.